to. So last night I saw some news that bothered me. The Muppets got canceled. I'm very upset about this. I truly enjoyed that show. I thought it was just so funny and clever. It was like The Office meets The Muppets. I think not a lot of people got that kind of humor though. Like people who didn't like The Office. Like say my mom didn't really understand why The Muppets were being so weird. I don't know. I really liked that show though. I thought it was really funny. Bah! And I just... I just, I finally finished Fairy Tale. I watched all the episodes and now I'm like, now what? And I read on Google there might be another season coming because they ended it in a way that, hmm, like, I just felt like they left a lot hanging. There were still a lot of questions that were not answered, but they might be doing another kind of rebooty thing. I don't know. But I started watching Sword Art Online because I heard that was a really good anime. And I like it, but I, I'm not addicted to it yet. Which is probably a good thing because I'm sleeping better at night. Um, but, so, what else am I doing in the pop culture? Oh, and I started reading um, The Trials of Apollo. Is that what it's called? The new Rick Riordan series. And it's pretty cool. I like that this guy... Somebody's driving down the street the wrong way. If you, you can't really see that car that just went past me. They went the wrong way down my street. That's not cool. Um, <laughs> don't know why they did that, but this is a one-way street. That's annoying. Um, so weird. Random. Um, so yeah, Rick Reardon's books, I love them. I really liked Magnus Chase, too. I thought that was really great with all the Norse mythology. And this one is kind of funny, because Apollo, who is a god, has been sent to Earth as a human, and he's miserable, and it's really funny. And, um... I'm really liking that so far. I'm about maybe a third of the way into it so far. Um, I really love that whole Percy Jackson universe. I think it's great. Um, and I don't think enough people know about it or have read them. And they're just so good. Like, I like them almost as much as Harry Potter and all that. Like, they're not as magical, but they're fun and funny. And the writing is really witty. And the characters are amazing. And I really like that. Um... Let's see, what else have I been up to? It's been a really quiet week. Penny's birthday was the other day. So, um, I spent a lot of time spoiling my little puppy. And, um, I've been selling chocolate bars at work for a fundraiser for my niece's soccer team. And I haven't been going shopping or doing anything like that much because I'm trying to save some money. I have some big trips coming up and my birthday party coming up. So, yeah, those are my big expenses. And I just have such a huge backlog of toys at this point that I need to get through stuff or get rid of stuff and and kind of work from there. Um, I don't know. It's Friday. I have to go. I've been having this. I've had to go to the post office three days in a row. I know this is so boring. Three days in a row because the first day they didn't have envelopes. And then the second day, he, the guy couldn't read the address I wrote down. And I couldn't confirm it. So I didn't want to send this package that I'm returning back. So now I'm going back there again. Yeah, annoying. All right. It's probably going to be another crazy, crazy day at work. Last Friday, Fridays are our craziest days at work. So, yeah. I'm not looking forward to this. But maybe tonight I will go to Target and get some Starbucks and walk around. And or maybe I'll go to Toys R Us and see if there's any Shopkins. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, right. Shopkins in New Jersey. That's a good one, right? Um, but yeah, I just said I wasn't gonna go shopping and spend money. And what am I talking about? Going shopping. This is why I have credit card debt. <laughs> Being a grown up is so fun, you guys. Um. So anyway, yeah. Time to. I'm not even. Time to get going to the post office for day three. I'll see you guys later. So today's workout was pretty challenging for a really stupid reason. Um, so at my gym, they have this movie room where you can watch a movie and kind of work out. And it's dark back there. And I kind of really enjoy it because you can kind of just zone out and watch the movie and it goes quickly. Well, they were showing this movie today that was like... Not my kind of movie, guys. It was like an action movie, and it was just not a um, PG-13 type thing that I like to be viewing while I'm working out, and it was kind of gross, and there was one scene that made me almost vomit, and I had to, like, get out of there, and I couldn't shut the thing off. I had to, like, slow it down, and it was really annoying, 
and I was gonna leave but I decided to go out into the main room and I put on my phone I put Hulu on I put it on the closed captioning so it wouldn't bother anybody and then there were the sounds of the blenders from the juices ugh, I hate I hate juicing I don't ugh. just the whole idea of juicing and the smoothie thing and putting all that food and mixing it together and it just creeps me out guys I know a lot of people love that stuff but it's not for me and the sound of the blender while I'm trying to like work out and I'm already it was, I just had a rough time but I did it and I up my speed so much so that my steps are like almost I'm almost at my step goal for today and it's 10 in the morning so I'm really really excited about that I got through a tough challenge and you know I just got to keep at it I still haven't been able to get to the gym during the week I really really need to try to do that um, because I'm still struggling with these four pounds <laughs> even sticking to my plan it and hitting my I did like up my steps by like a hundred steps a day or more all week but it just wasn't enough I guess to just get off this plateau that I've been on um, I'm gonna try some different things next week maybe like sticking to all um, like going carb free a couple days just to kind of kick start things a little bit um, yeah Okay, I have to run some errands now. I will see you guys later. So I'm up here. Check this out. This is the Tempty Bridge construction. Um, I'm not sure if that's a building I need to get to. I'll have to show you some nicer views of this bridge construction. I'm just going to a party and I can't find it anywhere. I'm not sure where the building is. GPS is not very helpful. I'm gonna try that building over there. <laughs> I'm hoping that's where. So I found my party and here is the view of the Hudson. It is very lovely, and this is the new bridge, the new replacement for the Tappan Bridge being built, which is crazy. I used to have to take that bridge every day to get to work, and now it, it looks absolutely crazy. Look at these dogs. They have had a busy day. Penny is laying up over here, and over here we have Mr. Rocky, who is just like totally beat, and then we also have. Elsa and Anna who are sleeping over along with my little nieces they are in bed currently um, <laughs> we're having a big sleepover party I came home before and there were toys all over the floor now there's just my socks and shoes and my dog <laughs> there's a random basket um, so yeah our house is more of a mess than Andrew hey guys it is Monday morning and I started my day with a long walk so I'm going to work with a bunch of points today um, over 2,000 steps that is good I usually get to my car and I have about 400 so that is a good thing but this week some of my friends have challenged me to a step challenge and they're all teachers so they walk a lot so I want to try to be competitive maybe that'll get me motivated and get me past this plateau that I've been on um, anyway I I was also just listening to Hamilton because did I mention I'm obsessed with Hamilton now like everyone I think just about everyone who's a Broadway nerd right now is obsessed with Hamilton and people who aren't even into Broadway I see a lot of posts on my Facebook and I I am um, I try not to listen to soundtracks before I see a show but I'm like when am I ever gonna get to see Hamilton so I was like I'm gonna listen to it and then I was like what this is great I majored in history and when I was a kid one of my favorite subjects was a revolutionary war so um <laughs> I was a weird kid guys you probably figured that out already so I really am digging it and I just started the Chern Ron Chernow's Hamilton the biography and I'm listening to that so I'll be all Hamilton this week for sure but you know it's fun and I like learning and sometimes it's a good mix between my Star Wars and weird fantasy and romance novels to listen to something that's informative and and, and learn um, some new things so that's what I'm going to be doing this week so um, you're probably going to hear a lot about Hamilton I'm sorry <laughs> sir <laughs> my new passport is here so is my sm smuggler's bounty box um, <laughs> I just thought this was finally so awesome that I got my new passport I want to show you my hideous picture here without showing you my like Penny will show you. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like I have like shaved eyebrows. Like 
I don't know what it is about the reflection or something, but it looks like I have shaved eyebrows and looks crazy. What do you think, Penny? <laughs> I also really like that there's all these like pictures inside, like the Statue of Liberty. Uh, places that do not require a passport. <laughs> um, what is this? This is someplace out west, I guess. And I saw the Mount Rushmore. It's pretty cool, huh? Um, but also, and also, space. You can go to space with this passport. That's what that means, right, Penny? Yes! Be sure to check out some of our other videos and hit that subscribe button.